Brian's co-workers requested that I make them a special Christmas cookie. And of course, I'm going to oblige them. Here are the ingredients. One stick of butter, a cup and a half, half of creamy peanut butter, half a bag of confectioner's sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm gonna start by creaming together the butter and peanut butter. Then I'll add the vanilla and slowly add in the sugar. Here are the peanut butters, the butter, and the vanilla all mixed together. Next, I'm going to add my powdered sugar slowly. Here's the dough for the Buckeyes. You can see that it's very crumbly and that's exactly the right consistency that you want for these cookies. What you're gonna do is take a tablespoon measure and roll this dough into balls. Put them on a plate or on a cookie sheet and then put those balls in the refrigerator for 30 minutes just to firm up a little bit. After that, I'll show you how to dip them in chocolate. Here are the Buckeyes rolled out. They're about one tablespoon large. And while I was rolling these, I was thinking it would be a nice change if you used half a tablespoon instead of a whole tablespoon. This makes it a two bite cookie, but if you would cut it in half, it would be one bite. And that might actually even be better. Um, so I mentioned before that I'm gonna refrigerate these for 30 minutes to get them firm so that I can dip them. But I wanted to let you know that you can keep these in the refrigerator overnight if you cover them with plastic wrap. So you can do this the night before and then do your dipping tomorrow. The Buckeyes have been in the refrigerator overnight and now I'm getting ready to dip them. I have chocolate here in a bowl. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I bought these chocolate wafer pieces from a local candy supply store. They're milk chocolate and I like to use these because they melt so perfectly in the microwave in about 30 to 40 seconds. So what you do is you fill up a very small bowl, you can see how small it is, about halfway with chocolate. Then you put it in the microwave uncovered at, for 30 seconds and then stir it with a fork and put it back in for maybe another 10 seconds, five seconds, um, until it's really nice and runny. And that's whenever you're gonna be able to dip um, these Buckeyes perfectly. I wanna show you how nice and runny this chocolate is. You wanna get it very thin so that it sticks to those Buckeyes easily. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to dip these Buckeyes now that this chocolate is nice and melted. I have a toothpick that I've put in one of them Here's my chocolate, and then I have a cookie sheet that's lined with wax paper. And I already did one. You can see what it's going to look like. The traditional look of the Buckeye is the top part is exposed, and then the bottom part is what's dipped in chocolate. And so I'm going to use a spoon. I'm going to take my Buckeye, put it in here, use the spoon to coat it with chocolate. leaving the top part there, still peanut butter. And then use this as a handle. Let that chocolate drip off as much as possible. You see any areas that you forgot you can dip them back in like I just did and then place it on the wax paper just continue that for all of them and if you want to take your finger and cover up this hole you can the peanut butter will just go back I leave the hole because it's really not a big deal and repeat for all of them